hold your applause till the end. Two questions. I'd like to go for that round. Is that for you? Uh, and also <laughs> negative noises which makes me all be present until the end. Um, can we all boo at the end? Can we all boo at the end? I, I'm expecting a healthy round myself. Um, we are lucky enough to be in uh, the Granite State where it says the free or die on the license plates and a uh, very active and strong Libertarian Party that I have been blessed to live next to for a long time. Could you describe for me the things that you have done in either your state, county party, or some sort of local libertarian movement? Uh, well, I'll summarize. Uh, people mentioned my gubernatorial campaign in 2016. In 2016, I had the highest uh, percentage of any third party or independent gubernatorial candidate in the country, 31,234 votes, which was enough to finally, for the first time in 20 years, win major party status, win automatic ballot access, which is, as you Guys that work in ballot access know that saves a huge amount of time in 2018. Um, I'd like to register as a libertarian, a libertarian voter for the first time in 20 years. I have a bill in the ballot access bill that would simply allow you to have, if it passes, work with the Secretary of State's office and Republicans and Democrats, and then the, the House Election Law Committee are working very hard to try to get this passed. Please email your, your members of the Election Law Committee. And it would reduce ballot access requirements, not to signatures, oh, yes, but only have 500 registered Libertarian Party members. Um, and we can do that easily. We had 1,100 last time. Which, um, my hope is that they'll pass that. Um, I ran for Rocky and County Attorney as a Libertarian in 2012 and won a record 8.5% with no money and no media coverage. Um, uh, approval voting bill, uh, which is Caleb Dyer's bill, and a number of other uh, yes, um, I'm chair of the Horry County Libertarian Party in South Carolina. I've helped numerous local candidates run for office. Uh, we, I uh, built websites for city council candidates uh, freely and uh, involved in local politics. We've had a lot of corruption, in, particularly in my uh, home city of Myrtle Beach. Uh, the county council's okay, but it's, it's all about getting people in there who uh, believe in a free society, and some of them uh, join, and people join uh, government to get an edge, to uh, get a way to manipulate the government for an oligarchy, so that they can own the process, and uh, so that they can basically own more percent of the United States. It's, it's, and we have to fight against that and make us a free, a free and fair society. Uh, and then, well, just another example, um, Locally, we our, uh, our city manager is in charge of the police and uh, control and actually does all the duties of the uh, local government, which is just ridiculous. Where the uh, the city council is that up? Okay. Well, okay. Well, thank you. I've said what I was say. So. I've done a lot for libertarians, I think. Um, I started a YouTube channel and a taxation and theft shop, and the goal with that was to get the information out there. And there's a, you could call them a cult of people, because I know not all libertarians agree with them, but there's a group of people who don't pay income taxes, not on filers, and they have to meet the IRS. And I created a video about this. That video alone has six million views, and that's created a lot of controversy on YouTube and Facebook and social media. Uh, in 2016, I worked with the McAfee campaign, and we had a program where we were, we were building websites for other candidates, and I was the one who actually built those websites for, I think, about 20 candidates. Exactly. We're doing the same thing with my campaign now. We have something called the SWAT team, uh, which is serious warriors against taxation or abolishing taxation. It, it's whatever. Um, we, we, we just love the acronym, because we're going to kick in some doors and shut down some taxes. And we're working with cross-ballot candidates. We're calling them cross-ballot, not down-ballot, because they're equal. And we're working with cross-ballot candidates all over the country, because we want to help them get the word out, too. And on my podcast, I've had several candidates here, and I hope to have some more soon.